All right, moving right along, let's talk about app building itself. So um, if you've built tools in MATLAB in the past, you probably have used Guide or maybe even done it programmatically. But I'm going to talk about something called App Designer, which is a newer way of building tools in MATLAB. And it is the really the way we recommend going forward all people um, build tools with. So App Designer is a fully featured tool in MATLAB to build interactive tools for yourself or for other people. Uh, where you have a, some type of a graphical interface with some widgets and drop downs and some interactive tools here. And this is a quick example of, of how it might work. So in the middle is the design palette. And I'll drag and drop uh, the different widgets on the palette itself. I'll line them up. I'll label them. Get this thing laid out how I want it to do. Here in this case, we're looking at a, an example loan uh, schedule, payment schedule. So I'll work through this thing. I'll change the component browser. So this is how I'll refer to this in code later on. I'll maybe enforce some, uh, uh, some values here in terms of um, error checking. So you can only put values within a certain range. And then I'll switch over to the code view. Now this is the boilerplate code MATLAB generates. And you'll notice that it's it's 100% object oriented code uh, where guide was not. So app designer is fundamentally different in guide from, from that regard. Um, where I want to put in some type of, um, of my own code, I can add callbacks or functions or properties. So now I can have custom code when I push a button or click a drop down or turn a knob, I can have MATLAB go ahead and enact the code that I put in. In this case, we're going to uh, calculate an interest rate and update the plot. And then when I get done doing that, I can test it right here in MATLAB and run this. So here's some error checking, make sure that my error checking works. And then when I put in a new value and click monthly payment, there we go, I get a new, um, a new updated plot. So that's a quick tour of App Designer and how you would make an app in MATLAB. There is a guide to App Designer migration tool. So if you have some legacy code that you want to maybe bring forward, you can download this migration tool via the Add-on Explorer and see what that might mean to you. So it's a way to kind of get up to App Designer without necessarily doing all the conversion yourself. App Designer has a whole bunch of components. Uh, this includes things like checkboxes and date pickers and things like that. There's a bunch of lamps and knobs and switches, again, to give you, hopefully, capabilities to make this look like you want it to look. And then container components, specifically tabs and panels. These apps can get pretty busy, and you want to make sure you're managing your, your visible space so that the user can be efficient in how they're using your tool. And I've also put a link here to the uh, component gallery that's got everything in it. So in terms of laying out the app itself, we've added a lot of help here to make sure the buttons and the, the knobs and the dials and things line up, as well as uh, given thought to when you design this, what happens if you go to a mobile device and you turn you know, your iPhone or your tablet back and forth. You know, so we try to, to take care for that and think about that up front. Okay, uh, I talked about the editor. I uh, mentioned the fact that this is, in fact, all object-oriented code in this thing. And the code analyzer, again, helps you just like in the normal MATLAB um, editor. The code analyzer is going to kind of help you identify syntactical issues. You're going to have the same thing in App Designer. And then the unit testing framework I talked about a couple slides ago also applies to App Designer. So if you want to check out your app before you actually deliver it and run through and configure all your buttons and knobs and that type of thing, you can do that. With the idea being that if your app breaks in the field, it shouldn't break because you didn't check a configuration of inputs. It should break for some unknown thing that maybe we couldn't we couldn't protect for. And so the unit testing framework can be a great way to add uh, reliability and confidence to your tool before you send it out. What about sharing these things? It's great that I can make a tool in MATLAB. How do I share it? Well, you can directly share it with other MATLAB users by saving it as an ML app file. You can just share it directly. You can take that app and package it up as a, an app install file, and then you can install it in your apps tab in the tool strip. And that could be a great way to share that as well. Um, you can also share it through um, by compiling it and sharing it as a web app. So this, in my mind, is the way people will share apps in the future. And the idea is you'll stand up a, a web app server at your location. So this would be something that your company would stand up. You'd create your app and then you'd host it on this web app server. And then many people could access this thing and do their work. So it's going to reduce complexity and hopefully increase the ability of people to, to get at tools you build. So this is called web apps. It's a brand new thing in MATLAB. Uh, and you can check the doc for more information on this.